Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and Real Illusion Forum. Anyway, uh, somebody asked me on my channel how to... It was an odd request. They said, what, what happens if I have a character... Actually, they said, what happens if I have clothing in iClone that I want to bring over into Character Creator? That's kind of odd that you would have things because there's not much content. But And I don't have any real clothing in iClone. But I will show you how to bring over hair, which is exactly the same. doesn't matter whether it's clothing or hair. It's, it works exactly the same way. So uh, first of all, you have to be using a CC3 figure. And you can tell that by looking. See, this is a CC3. Uh, some of these are not CC3s. And like the 70, you can't use a, a character that isn't CC because it won't be editable in CC. So uh, this base mail isn't editable, but this is not either. So you can you can find out which ones are. But this is a CC3 character. So we'll bring over uh, Kalib, Kalib Kalei, or Caleb. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Anyway, um, so in in iClone, in iClone, uh, we'll, we're going to remove this hair from him because I'm going to put on some hair. Like I said, I don't I don't really have any clothing here that I can show you, but I do have some D6 hair. So I'll put on this short hair on him. So with him selected, he's in the scene, we gotta select him, content. The reason we select him is we wanna make the hair go close to where he is. And it's sort of there, it's not really quite, so we have to move it around a little bit, get it positioned a little bit better, and then it's not, not the right size, so we'll resize it a little bit. This hair isn't great for him, but it's it's close, and yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of time on on getting this sorted out. That's not very great hair anyway. But now, if we look at it in the scene, you'll see see these little binoculars next to this. If you can see this, that means that it's an accessory. It's actually not hair. The same would be true if you brought over clothing. It wouldn't be clothing inside of iClone attached to this. It would be brought in as an accessory. So now, what we have to do is select him again, go to modify. And then we're going to go to Edit and Character Creator. In Character Creator, we get this uh, menu. We want to replace all. It loads in the um, the character we just had there. So there he is. And there's that hair. Oops. Whoa. I'm still used to This is a brand new setup I'm using. So there's the hair. Now, it's not here uh, right now. If we were to look at it in the scene again, you'd see it's still that accessory. So to convert it to hair, and you do the same thing if you had to convert it to clothing, you would just transfer skin weights if it was clothing and for hair we do create hair so either way so we do this and for hair it's always base hair apply that and there it is and now we actually have hair and you probably would also want to change the uh, shader for it for clothing you want to change it to PBR and for hair we want to change it to hair so that's basically how you do it from iClone to uh, character creator is make sure you have a CC3 character Apply your item inside of iClone and then export it and then change it to the kind of item it really is. 